What's up everybody? Dan from Embracing Eclectic here and I'm going to be going over my purchase of the clam. The clam is an outdoor portable type pop-out room which is quite easy to set up which I'll be doing so uh, right here shortly. But um, I'm actually also going to be comparing this to the Gazelle Gazebo which is another uh, pop-up tent room gazebo type thing uh, just like the clam that we originally started off with. Uh, it lasted about a year of us uh, full timing before the roof started to uh, fade out and deteriorate and thin out and, and end up tearing uh, through some wind storms. But uh, we got good use out of it. It did leak, um, you know, through the window seams and all, uh, which was one of the downfalls of the gazelle. Uh, the clam here is supposed to uh, not really have that issue because it has a special flap that goes over your wind panels on the side. So hopefully that'll help keep water out. But I'll set this guy up. Take it right out of the bag. All right, as you see there, uh, didn't really take that much to set up. Uh, next thing would be to throw in some stakes in the ground and get this guy secured but uh, uh, actually comparing again comparing this to uh, the gazelle gazebo not that it matters but the bag quality of the tent itself was uh, definitely by far superior than uh, what came with the gazelle it's nice that it unzips all the way down uh, to be able to open it up the um, one thing I would say is there's really not any difference as far as uh, material wise for what these are made out of compared to that gazelle. Still sets up just as quickly and just as easily to give you a nice shaded spot. Uh, definitely a lot cooler in here with these up, uh, with this up providing some shade. And then I got these poles here. I gotta, they actually come in here and support the walls there for the door entrance. But all this stuff here seems to be. Uh, all, all about the same quality uh, compared to the gazelle and uh, we really like these rooms definitely because of the ease of the setup and again we have uh, wind panels that come down over these to give you some privacy uh, protect you from wind uh, and also rain so and these are the flaps that I was talking about right here you put these wind panels on and these will actually flap over them and let the water run off over and then onto the panels and off your tent. The gazelle didn't have anything like this, so the water a lot of times would sometimes seep underneath the panels and anything along the edges there would uh, would get wet. But yeah, so this is uh, the clam. It's about, I wanna say maybe $80, $100 more than the uh, gazelle, but um, you know, if you really want to make sure your stuff's dry inside, it's probably worth uh, the upgrade. Probably won't get much more of uh, extra life out of it than I did with the Gazelle itself, but uh, I do like the protection from the rain, definitely as a positive. So uh, in the description, I'll have a link for the clam here you can get on Amazon. I'll also enclose um, one of my most popular videos, which is actually uh, the Gazelle Gazebo that I did have uh, when I first purchased it, uh, the video that I made of that. So, thank you for watching, and if you have not done so already, please subscribe. Um, Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe.